channel Southern Yankee Beauty. I am excited to show you what just came in the mail a couple of days ago and I haven't played with them yet and I'm going to show you what I got but also share with you in case you haven't seen the brand new launch from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm in a different room as you can see and I'm going to be sometimes looking over here at the TV. I don't have like um not the TV the um, computer. I don't have um, like an iPad or something so that I can look at this and also um, show with you share with you what I'm doing so I'm going to be inserting photos probably over here and I am going to also at the same time talk to you a little bit about uh, what the launch is that Charlotte Tilbury launched for um, Valentine's Day I think this came out um, so she came out with um, a brand new lipstick line with five matte shades of different reds and then five of her kissing formula of like really beautiful like mauves and pinks and so there's some photos up here that I'm gonna put up here of like the whole collection together she also did come out with five new lip cheats which are the liners as well and something I really like that she did let me see if I can get to the um, lipstick page um, gorgeous models by the way I, I tried to she did a really good job of like putting both in to give people different skin tone options like of using you know darker skin models and lighter skin models um, and I really really liked that and then for let's stay let's see what do we want to start with let's go to these lipsticks they're so gorgeous this line is gorgeous in general so I'm gonna blow this up so I can see it a little bit better no, it's not gonna let me okay so basically it says do you if you have a cool undertone on the top and it shows you the Hollywood pinks that you can use so it looks like it look uh, I'm having a hard time but 90s pink rose to fame and red carpet pink they have selected for a cool tone pink and then for a warm undertone for the pinks they did icon baby and candy Ch chic um, but then below that they're showing you if you have um, cool tone undertone and you're buying one of those cool tone lipsticks for the kiss and these are in the kissing formula and you have fair to medium skin that the it's showing you the different two different uh, 90s pink and pillow talk the types of liners to use and then if you have the more warmer undertone um it looks like icon baby which is new and her original pillow talk formula and then if you have medium to deep skin tone it's telling you to go to pillow talk intense or love trap and then also for the warm tone liner for medium to deep it says foxy brown and super size me so it's giving you all the different options um, now I personally have a tendency I'm not wearing anything of hers on my lips right now in fact what I have on my lips right now and I don't, I don't even have my eyes done is um, just so you know because I love it it's a lip oil but it has a lot of as you can see a lot of color in it um, and it's lip oil shimmer and it's by Clarins in spark uh, it's a sparkling oil in burgundy wine so just to give you some reference that's what I'm using this was actually sent in PR a while back and I just love 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 it um, and it's something that I've continued to use and I wanted something on my lips for the majority of this video until we can get to the end where I'm going to be trying everything on for you guys okay continuing on in the same thing it's showing you the hollywood reds for your cool tone undertone or your cool undertone or your warm undertone in which shades they recommend of the five so you can see all of them right there you have on the top the five hollywood the five different pink hollywood pinks and the five different hollywood reds and then again she does fair to medium and medium to deep and recommends different liners now I didn't necessarily even look at that when I ordered. I just picked out colors that I thought were good for me. I do have a neutral undertone, so I can go cool or warm. And I think actually what I purchased was a warm and a cool, according to hers. So we'll see. And then liners, I didn't see this when I did it. I wish I had. I just guessed and picked things that I liked. Um, I do know that I like her liners, but I have one that I used and it's really little right now. I forgot what color it is. Um, I tend to like a darker liner and then that ombre look, which I know is very 90s, but it's a moment and it's coming back in right now where they're doing a darker liner and lighter, um, a lighter lip. And I'm glad it's coming back in because I've always thought that was an attractive look on women. 
obviously that is complete personal preference. So my lip liners may not be the ones that match up here, but that's okay, you're gonna get to see. I think I got three liners and two lipsticks, as well as some different samples, and she is really good about samples. So when you go through her website, like you can get free shipping. Um, th th she's got all different things. I think you get two little free samples, and then if you hit different levels of spending, um, you, get, you can pick out, they send more free samples or deluxe samples. Um, they also do have Klarna and different ways to pay where you can split your payments, which is what I did. So um, I think I spent, I don't know, $95-ish. Um, got about that four or five samples in there. Let me look. And then I split it into payments. I think my payments are only like $12.95 or something every two weeks or something like that. So yeah, I got three liners. I got two lipsticks and then I got four different samples and free shipping. So she does have a lot of like little goodies and extras, which is why I like shopping on her website compared to shopping on getting this stuff somewhere else. But also, you know, you, I mean, you get all those samples, which is so awesome. The shipping did take a little bit. I forgot what they use, like DHL or whatever. It's only coming from California and I'm in Virginia. I did find the shipping to be too long. Um, Maybe not. I'll have to look and tell you how many days it took to get to me. Maybe I was just being impatient. So I will give you an update and let you know on that. Um, so let's go through each, first of all, each of the different shades. And I'm, I'm going to put the photos up here on the side that, she, um, that she's got on her own website. So we'll start with the Hollywood pinks. And the first one is this beautiful icon baby. Now, um, she does show it on different skin tones here, so I'm going to just really pop those photos up, and her models are stunning. First of all, don't you wish you had lips like these, all these girls? Um, and then she's got a, a model, and it to me, looking at, now this woman obviously has a gloss on her lips. Um, this is a really beautiful pale pink. They describe this. Um, a warm nude rose lipstick in my moisturizing formula with a soft satin shine finish encased in a pink tube and infused with light diffusing pink crystal pigments. Um, it looks a little differently on the model in the photo versus the lips that they show, just like the uh, pictures of it on different shades of skin lips. Um, but, that sounded weird. Um, it, I, it may be because she has a gloss on, right? So that could be why it's it looks a little deeper or her particular lip pigment is deeper. Um, and that, you know, if you don't have, if you have a light lip or a dark lip, and as you age, by the way, you lose color and pigmentation, not just in your lips, but in your skin in general, which is why it's important that we try to add some of that back in. In fact, L'Oreal has something, it's like a, mo a day and nighttime moisturizing cream that's in this rose color, and you put it on your skin, and it kind of turns your skin like a pinky rose. And that is because our skin loses pigment. So how the same color will look on me versus how it might look on a 20 year old who still has all her gorgeous pigment in her skin will be completely different even if we are wearing the same color. But this is beautiful. These lipsticks, both the Kissing Formula and the Matte Formula do retail for $35, which is pretty standard for her. Um, I, I would rather spend like $25 on a lipstick, but um, her lipsticks are good. I don't have a ton of her lipsticks, but I was really drawn in with some of these Hollywood pinks. And um, maybe I might get a, one of her Hollywood reds. Red is having an icon moment coming back in. They said we're going to see more of, and I, and funny that she called them Hollywood because that's really what they are. You looked at the old Hollywood 40s, 50s, 60s, and where they had their beautiful like curls and their big red lips as the focal point, and that's what you're seeing this year coming back in. So here is the Icon Baby from the Hollywood Pinks. And then the next shade that we're gonna look at here is the uh, candy chic or chick I don't know but it's again $35 I love that the tubes are pink they're almost they're a metallic pink so pretty you'll see it in a moment well you can you may see it on here too um, and then of course we have the on the different lip tones and you can see on this darker skin um, model she went with a like maybe a darker intenser pillow talk shade around the lips and I really like that and she clearly has a gloss on now there's a beautiful shimmer to this lipstick 
lipstick. Um, let's look at here is on some light skin. You can see that this is a moisturizing lipstick. This is not a lipstick that is matte. Um, it isn't going to be transfer proof because it's going to come off. Um, I don't know how long these are going to last, like through eating and stuff and kissing, you know. Um, but her shades are so nice and if you need a moisturizing lipstick if your lips are dry something like this would be a really nice option the thing with matte lipsticks is it can be very drying and so but the problem with reds is if i don't know if her reds are dry we'll have to come back to this but um not only do if, if i had something like red and it was a drying matte if the matte was really dry and i felt like i needed to put a lip gloss over it for me at 49 it's going to go up into the lines of my lip and it's going to bleed um, it's better obviously if you use a liner which i always do but sometimes even then especially a red liner i'm going to have an issue with it um, i kind of wish i had picked up one red just so that i could see what it does i just don't wear a lot of red so for me i didn't do that um, and then um but if you guys got any of the red shades and you have more mature skin, um, please leave in the comments what you think and how it worked. Um, okay, staying with the candy chic. So you've got beautiful on the, I, mean, I wish I had lips and teeth like these girls. And then the model at the end, gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful, kind of a medium, um, medium skin. Um, and she's just beautiful and her lips are beautiful and again you can really hear see that darker liner with this beautiful shade i really like the shade i can't remember what i got i don't think i got this one um, i'm kind of looking at this and on even on all of all of the different lips i like this shade so um, if i really like this formula this could be something that i come back and get also all of these pink shades are so great for weddings we have you know weddings coming up for sp spring and summer including my daughters i showed her the two shades yesterday that i got you say I just opened them and she liked them both. I swatched them, and she's looking for a type of a pink for her 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 summer wedding, which is in June, um, because she's going to have she doesn't want brown and nude. She's going to have a summer wedding with blushes and corally peaches and sage green, and so she wanted to have a pretty pink summery lip and these are beautiful she may borrow one of these so i may end up getting another one but this is gorgeous the models are gorgeous really like this color the next color we have up here is the red carpet pink this one is described as a sumptuous pastel pink lipstick in my moisturizing formula with a soft satin shine finish encased in a pink tube let me go back really quickly to the red, um, the pink or candy chic one. I did not read you the description of that one. A candy pink lipstick in my moisturizing formula with a soft satin shine finish encased in a pink tube. So very similar. Okay. So, okay. Back to red carpet pink. Um, so this one is, um, is a really pretty pastel, a much, much lighter pink, actually quite pretty on darker skin. Um, and then you've got it here on sort of a medium, medium tone skin, and then you've got it also shown on lighter skin. Um, the end here, the model, absolutely stunning and her eyes are stunning too like you look at her eyes and you know that's like her eyes to mesmerize shimmer shades that she's got on her eyes but paired beautifully kind of reminds me like how she's holding it like those really long cigarettes that you would have seen uh, the that that flapper style with the, the long cigarette if i if i can find a photo of what i'm thinking of i'll put it there but beautiful beautiful photos here the fourth shade that we have um rose to fame i may have picked this one up this one looks like one that i would have picked up so this one here says a soft mauve rose lipstick in my moisturizing pink uh, my moisturizing formula with a soft satin shine finish so it looks like all of these have that soft satin shine finish i think that's just a kissing formula but she's um she is saying this is a soft mauve rose lipstick shade and then again you have it with the um, lighter skin absolutely gorgeous and then you have it with the darker skin there also gorgeous and i don't know this one didn't have like a photo of um at the end of a model so they have did have a video um 
and I got a picture of the video um, that I just screenshot here. And you can see them in action on the website if you want to take a look there. They do have little videos on each color. All right, the fifth and last of the Hollywood pinks that she launched was this 90s pink. This is the darkest pink, and it says a dreamy 90s inspired warm rose pink lipstick, and then all the rest is the same. Um, gorgeous. So again, they show it here with the light, the lighter skin, and then you've got beautiful here with medium skin. This one actually, I don't think I snapped all three photos. This one actually shows like a, a light medium and then a dark um, on dark skin. So it's, it's showing you that it's working on all three. And then again, we have this same beautiful model wearing it. It does look darker on her lips here than it does in the photo of the girl with the light skin. But again, she is clearly wearing a gloss on this. So and her skin is just flawless. Oh, so beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so let's move into the Hollywood reds, my friends. Okay, first one up. To me, this one, um, in the color of it, the sample swatch that it's showing, it does look like it's got a little brown or orange in it, but it does not look like that at all in the pictures of people wearing it, at least not on the on the light skin girl, maybe on the maybe a little bit in some of these samples. So this is called Mark of a Kiss. This is the matte revolution type. Same thing, these are 35 as well as well. And this one says it's a soft muted red lipstick. Now it is gorgeous. So like when I look on the medium skin, here's where I do see a little of that orangey shade in there. Um, and then even darker lips, I feel like I can see that, that orangey corally shade almost a little bit on this, this model. And then you have the light skin. And again, I see maybe a little of the browner shade coming in. I actually like this shade. Um, and this one doesn't have a, the only model that it had was in the video, a very light skin girl, and I did, go, and she's lining it, I don't know what she's using to line, but I did screenshot a photo of her at the end, um, and it looks very, very red. So this one is intriguing because I don't feel like the samples match the video in this one. If you got this one, Mark of a Kiss, let me know what you think and which shades it really is looking like, all right? Up in the Hollywood Reds, we have Fame Flame. Now again, in the samples on this one, this does look a little, lean a little orangey to me. This one says a red hot chili red lipstick in her matte formula. So um, it shows it here in with light skin lips and orange oranger lipsticks which is why with reds i don't typically like to wear a red with an orange base will make your teeth look more yellow and mine aren't the most beautiful white to begin with so and i've got a lot of fillings from braces in between my teeth that do not get white unfortunately um, even when i whiten them so for me anything with an orange tone and a red is a no i definitely need a red that has a blue tone so um, then we have one a photo of uh, the medium lips i mean it's still beautiful color and some of you may be able to wear this and then you have it, it i think it's stunning i think it's the prettiest on the deepest model's lips here. So gorgeous for our dark-skinned friends. And then you have a photo of a light-skinned woman wearing it. And again, it this photo looks a little browner. So again, I'm not sure, I'm sure there's some filters on these. So I just, they're very beautiful. Um, I don't know. I don't know what I think about that. That one definitely would not be a shade for me. Um, moving up to the third one, we have Vixen, I'm sorry, Hollywood Vixen. Uh, this one is a nuanced bright red lipstick, and this one's pretty. Um, definitely red, red, cherry red. Uh, very beautiful, almost like a strawberry red. And you've got it on the different skin tones here. So beautiful. And then you have a gorgeous model wearing it. I like this one. I think this is a beautiful shade. All right, next up, the fourth shade that we have is the Pizzazz, uh, Hollywood Pizzazz. And this one says it's a show-stopping blue-toned red lipstick. So this is the type of lipstick I would probably wear if I was wearing a, um, a red. And this, to me, this color is stunning on every single 
model skin tone here. Everyone, um, you uh, start, you have the dark, there's a really, the darkest skin tone here, then the medium skin tone, and then we have the light skin tone, and every one looks beautiful, these lips look gorgeous on, doesn't, doesn't hurt these girls that their lips are like the perfect shape. And then you have the model. We've seen this model a couple of times. Um, the only thing that she didn't do was like a show a full face model of both skin tones for every shade. Um, but she does show show it on each shade. She just doesn't have like the full picture. But this is beautiful. Um, and again, she's got her eyes closed here and her, her eyes are absolutely stunning as well. So um, absolutely beautiful. And then our final shade, my friends, would be the Cinematic Red. And this is described as a bright cinematic cherry red lipstick. And you've got it here with the light skin. And this looks to me like it also has a blue tone. This is very dark, very beautiful. I really liked this one too. And then you've got it on the medium skin. And then you have it, I don't know if I got all these photos. And then you have it on the dark skin. So if I'm only showing you two, know that there is three up there. Um, and then at the end, you have a beautiful um, medium skin toned model, uh, Jordan Dunn, her name is, um, and she has beautiful sparkles on her eyes that you know is Charlotte's too, that looks stunning on her too. Um, and she's got feathers, she's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lady. So those are the 10 new lipstick launches. In addition to her lipstick launches, well, first of all, she's got a lot of bundles up here too, but let me go to, I can find she launched also five new lip cheat lip cheat shades okay so um, I will go through the first five which I think are the new ones the first one is called icon baby to go with um, and we have and these are they lined and colored them in but um, this one is a warm news road rose lip liner and it's waterproof and it lasts for six hours and these retail for $25. They've colored it in here. They've shown it on sort of a medium and light skin tone. So maybe this one may not be recommended for dark skin tones. Um, and then, oh, and they also do recommend the, I believe the Icon Baby lipstick to, new one. Yeah, to go with it. So that's the first one. The second here is the 90s pink. This is described as a 90s inspired warm rose pink lip liner, again, six hours long. So this one looks more medium, um, medium to dark shade from, from what I can see here, really pretty. There's the light skinned lips and here are the uh, dark skin, beautiful. Just a really pretty, and it is, I would say she's right, a rose, a rose, warm rose pink, okay? Next up we have, the Queen. I think I got this one. And this one is very confusing because um, the swatch that they show at the bottom, if I can pull this up, I will for you, um, and I'll circle it, looks hot pink, okay? Um, but it's described as a warm nude rose lip. But the sample piece looks like it, and, and what's on the cap, looks like fuchsia. Um, now, when you put it on the lips, it looks like I hope it looks and not like the hot pink. Oh, I hope it is a warm nude rose, but uh, here it is on dark skin tone here. Then you have it on the medium skin tone. Really pretty color, isn't it? And then, of course, you have it on the lightest skin tone, which I really, this one I really liked on the lightest the best. I thought that was beautiful. Um, and I think that's the one, I, I think I got that one, so hopefully it, hopefully it doesn't look like the the fuchsia shade, because that'll upset me. Okay, then the fourth one is called Mark of a Kiss. This one is uh, described as a soft, muted, wearable red lip liner. And again, the bottom little swatchy thing doesn't really look like the same color in the samples. So this is gonna go with more of those orange toned lip, matte lips that she came out with, because it has an orange, this is an orange toned liner, even though it says it's a soft, muted, wearable red, absolutely has an orange tint to it. And so here you are on the medium skin tone, then here is the lightest skin tone, and then here is the darkest. So very, very pretty. Um, and that is recommended to go with which lip? Let's see. Mark of a Kiss lipstick. All right. So I guess each of these five new shades have a 
coordinating lipstick. So this is another one where the swatch looks like a hot pink, but it's it's red carpet red, and this is a blue toned red lip liner and does not look hot pink when you look at the swatches at all. So here it is on the lighter skin tone, and then this just has two photos, and then it looks like we have a dark skin tone as well. Very pretty. Um, I like these li these kind of liners. Um, and I think that's it. So yeah, those are our five different lip cheats. So let's start now by showing you what I got and then we'll move right into a tutorial. So here is the goodies that I've got right here and the two lipsticks and I'll show you the samples that came in too. I had to get in a better situation. All right, so I got two. I got Icon Baby and Rose to Fame. So these are the two of, that I got from the Hollywood Pinks collection. And obviously one's lighter and one is darker. I'll swatch both of these for you. Um, I do like here, you can see the color clearly on these, which is fabulous. And then um, they're beautiful. So this is her kissing formula, which is a really comfortable formula to wear. Oh, I should show you the tube. So here is the tube. It is a beautiful hot pink or like a rose pink. And then you have the lipstick, so I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch them, but we're gonna try them both on the lips with liners stuff as well. That one is, I already forgot the color of this one, Icon Baby. Isn't that beautiful? Love it, okay? Next up, we have Rose to Fame. I don't even know which one of these I'm gonna like better because they're so nice. Now on the bottom too, I should point out, you cannot tell what color these are. I do wish that these shade colors would have been on the bottom so that you didn't have to look because these look exactly the like. So you're gonna have to, and it's small on it's small writing on the bottom. Um, you're gonna have to look at the bottom to figure out what color it is. Um, you couldn't quickly just look and know what color it was. So that I, I wish was different, but beggars can't be choosers, right? All right, so here is, the uh, Rose oh, rose to Fame shade, again, beautiful. Let's see how different it is from Icon Baby. Much darker, much darker. But I'm very happy with both those shades. Like for me, those are beautiful, beautiful shades that I do think I'm going to wear a lot. All right, so now I have some liners and I didn't get all of the new liners. Um, one might be, one or two might be like pre-existing inner line. Yeah, like this is her original Pillow Talk shade. And it may be, did I get intense? Let me look. I don't think so. I think I just got her regular Pillow Talk. Also, when you check out, she's like, oh, if you spend this, you get this. And if you spend ten five dollars more, they'll let, she lets you know. And then she makes suggestions of what looks good based on what's in your cart as well. So you do get suggestions. So this is the original Pillow Talk liner. So that would look really good with Icon Baby, I think. I think, I mean, I could use it with this, but I think I need a darker one. I think this Pillow Talk and Icon Baby are gonna be beautiful together. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna throw these out. So I'm just gonna throw them down there. All right, next up I got, this is Pillow Talk 2 Medium. Now this is more in the brown category. This wasn't necessarily for this video. This is just, I have a lot of like nude brown lipsticks I wear and I needed another color. So this is the Pillow Talk 2 Medium. And let's see here. Okay, so that's Pillow Talk, that's Pillow Talk 2. Again, I could use this with Icon Baby quite beautifully. And then the last shade I'm really hoping is gonna be one that I can wear up here. This is, so now it is showing, that's the hot pink I was telling you about. This is one of her new ones, this is the Queen. And I think this might have went with the red collection. Again, it's even hot pink on here. So, let me see. If this is the queen, what they recommend this go with. I don't think she has anything on here actually. This one doesn't have a recommendation for the lipstick, but anyway, here is the shade. I'm gonna do it right up here just to see. Ooh, and it does look hot pink. 
it does look hot pink but the lips shades up again do not look like this so that's what I don't like when the samples of what it's looking like on the lips don't match what it truly is to me that is a little bit false advertising and I would like to see swatches closer to what they truly are this is what's going to result in the company getting a return because it shows this um, it, this is clearly what it looks like but then when they show it on the lips it is not looking like that at all um, that's why I think they're using filters and companies, makeup companies, not just Charlotte Tilbury, all of them. Pat McGrath is like one of the worst. They need to stop using filters. We need to see the true color because I would not have picked this hot pink color. I was not, I was hoping that the actual photos of the lip swatches for this were true and they weren't. Um, so that bothers me quite a bit. Um, I'm going to leave a review on all of these items up here, which I paid for with my own money. And on this one, I'm going to let people know this truly is a hot fuchsia pink and it does not look like the lip swatches. Um, I'll even put a picture side by side so they can see. So, um, because people just need to know. I mean, that's why we do these reviews. I'm not sponsored. I love Charlotte Tilbury. Her products are great. I will use this because I do have shades I can use that with, but I really am not going to be able to use it. I mean, I'll try it, but I don't think it's going to look very good. So, anywho, samples that I received. So, you get two little free samples with your order. Um, these are just like one-time users, and I got the Magic Eye Rescue, although this might be, I could probably use this two or three days. Um, this says that it revitalizes, reinvigorates, and helps reduce signs of aging. Clinically proven to reduce the appearance of wrinkles and help brighten dark circles. And then I also got the Magic Night Cream that you sleep in, okay? And this says, feed your skin with this powerful cocktail fused into a rich plump effect cream elixir formulated with plant-derived stem cells, vitamin E, coenzyme Q10, and retinol. Bathe your skin in the fountain of youth while you sleep. I'm excited to try that. Then I got two more samples, and I think these were for like certain size orders, friends. So this was the Charlotte Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. This is probably, you, it says for younger looking miracle skin. So I guess you put this on before you do your makeup, but I already have mine on, so I won't be doing that right now. But this is what it looks like. I do think I've used this before, and I think it was okay, but I don't really remember like it being anything special. And then my other deluxe sample was the Charlotte's Magic Cream, which I do really like. This is a very thick beautiful moisturizing cream that's very expensive but it's good um, so whenever I can get a sample of it I will use all of that all right friends I will be back I'm going to take the slip oil off and we are going to try the lip um, liners and the lipsticks kind of separate okay, and then friends, together. we're going to start with the liners I'm going to go light to darkest um, just so you can see them on their own the first one is the um, pillow talk uh, medium no, just the regular, just this is just the regular pillow talk. I'm not going to like worry about doing a super great until we get the lipstick with it, but. All right, this is nice. I'm gonna color it in a little bit just so you can see the color. And what I'll do is I'll put the light toned model with just this shade. I think that's available up here. Let me just look. That is Pillow Talk 2, there's one. Okay, yeah, so it's a little bit more browny, it looks like, on the model than it is on me, but still absolutely beautiful. So I'm very, very happy with that one. Um, I'm going to take this off, and then we'll move into the Pillow, Pillow Talk 2 medium. But let me just bring you in. Okay, here is the Pillow Talk 2 medium.
I like this one. I think I'll use this one with the darker mauve shade. I feel like it'll work. Yeah, that's really pretty. Now on the models here, they have a medium skin tone, so it's gonna look different, but here it is on the model and here it is on me. Beautiful, all right. Last one to do is the Queen Hot Pink. Okay, let's put this on. I'm sure this is gonna be gorgeous. It's just not what I thought. So pay attention more to the color it's showing when you're selecting your shade than the actual, what it looks like on the lips. And of course, the day I'm doing a lip video, I get a zit. <laughs> All right, sorry, I forgot to put the microphone on. Yeah, this is a beautiful shade. It's just not what it looked like on any of the models wearing it at all. Unless I'm out of my mind and you see it and I don't. But just to bring it home, let's, let's color this one in. Like, it's gorgeous, but it's definitely a hot pink. Really pretty for Valentine's. Like, honestly, I probably would wear this by itself. Okay, so there is the queen with no lipstick, just that. And then on the side, I'm going to put what the samples or the lips look like. So I'm gonna put the one that's light skin like myself. Let's just do the same pose. Oops. So, it's definitely more muted. It's, I'm looking at it and it's definitely more muted than the lips that they show. All right, so I'm going to take this off, come back with one of these liners on um, probably the Pillow Talk. Let's see. Let's start with the um, this one and then this one, and then I'll do this and this together. So we're going to come back with the liner on, the Pillow Talk liner, and we'll put the new lipstick on together. Okay, friends, this is just the Pillow Talk, the original Pillow Talk liner. And now we're going into Icon Baby. And I think that's a pretty dang good match. Uh-huh. I love it. I love it. I also think this would look good with the darker one that we're going to put on. Let's just try putting a little bit of the medium and just see. Just putting on a half to see if you can see the difference even. little bit like maybe if I had done it before I can't see too much of a difference but I'm thinking it's I mean I can they are close but I can see a dip that this one is darker I think it gives it a little bit more definition Oh, this is so beautiful. I almost don't want to take this shade off. It's so pretty. I'm excited to wear that, my friends. So, mm. 
Let me know what you think about that. And now we're gonna go in with the darker um, one that I just did and we're gonna put the other uh, lipstick shade on coming up. Okay, so here is just the um, Pillow Talk Medium. I really like it. Her formula is fabulous because uh, it really kind of allows me, I have very thin lips, and it allows me to over my, overline my lips and it look more natural So um, than it would have if I used something else. So we're gonna use the Rose to Fame shade here. So this is like the fourth, one, two, three, yeah, the fourth one for her new kissing formula, uh, Rose to Fame. So let's go in. Oh, that's beautiful. I love it. Goodness, I don't know which one I like better. I think I like Icon Baby better, but I love this too. What do you guys think? It's true to the color it's supposed to be. And on the lips, now I don't know if they've used liner, so they probably did, but maybe it looks a little lighter than what it does on me. But again, that that's because of pigment. This one is, I, I feel like these aren't so off in the colors um, for the lipsticks. It's just those liners. In fact, there's two liners that one looks hot pink and one looks fuchsia. Um, so I could probably put a little bit of this on if I wanted a little kick, but I, like it will definitely make it more pink. I'm not, that's all I'm gonna do, but um, I could get away with it with something like this, I think. But I don't like it as much as the um, the deeper pillow talk shade. So anyway, guys, that is my review. I think this has been a little bit of a long video because I went through all the different products that she launched at the same time. Normally, these probably would have been two different videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know, um, guys, what you think of um, her new launch for her lip line. I like it a lot with the exception, and I like this. I think this is gorgeous but I think they need to be true um, in the photos as well so that people are getting what they pay for. All right, so let me know if you're picking any up, if you've already got them, what you think, and especially on any of those reds, I'm curious to know what you guys have thought about, if you've used any of them, and if you or if you plan on it. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. I'm not an affiliate, but I do get, um, if she's a member of um, the affiliate um, where I can make like, links and then I would if you guys use it I would get um after so many people like purchase I do get something some like a little bit of money that goes in there um I mean I'm so new that you know what you guys have really made a difference on for me is like Natasha Denona so many of you guys have ordered through that um when with the other affiliate thing I mean it, it's like pennies you know it's just but all of it adds up but I think it has to get to a certain amount and then I can redeem it and I'm not there yet but I am over 500 subscribers and I just want to thank you guys for that because this is a brand new channel so thank you thank you thank you for watching my beauty channel. And if you're new, I also have Southern Yankee, which is fashion and lifestyle. So, all right, friends, I am going to go. I hope you've enjoyed and I will see you all in the next video. Bye till then.